Guys, don't lie to yourself. If you really, and I mean truly, are a sneakerhead, you most definitely went through each one of these phases or had at least one of these experiences in your lifetime. But before we get into the big five, let's really understand what a sneakerhead really is. A sneakerhead is someone who curls their toes at night when they hear the new Air Jordan 1 Chicago's are dropping next week. Now don't confuse this with the hype beast. Ew, just saying that makes me cringe. Baba boy. Those are the motherfuckers that throw their entire paste up on designer clothes and hype items just to wear the same pair of Gucci pants every hour and every day for the rest of the year. Those are the motherfuckers that do the most flex pieces to make others think they get girls or something. One of the cool kids or some shit like that. But in reality, they the ones who get stuffed in lockers and give their high school bullies their lunch money. Their fits don't even correlate, and half the time they be wearing fake designer to begin with. Okay, 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 let me get back on track. I just really hate the term hype beast. Okay, okay. Sneakerheads. <laughs> Number one, we got the fake enthusiasts. These motherfuckers will be quick to label themselves as a sneakerhead, but only have two shoes that they rotate with on the daily. Now, obviously, I'm not saying you need to have 100 plus pairs of shoes, but let's be honest here. Real sneakerheads crave shoes like food. If you aren't considering to grow your shoe collection, nine times out of 10, you aren't a sneakerhead. Now, if you buy shoes because other people like them, you're also not a sneakerhead. You're a hype beast. To be a sneakerhead, you have to always want to just go through like a Foot Locker or a Champs when you're ever at the mall, just for the fun fact that there's a chance that you'll see some shoes you've been waiting to pop. Sneaker stores for you have to feel like bookstores or like a Barnes and Nobles for nerds and geeks. If that passion isn't there, you're just not a sneakerhead, fam. Coming up in number two, we got the shoe mommies. If you're a sneakerhead like me, a random person probably came up to you and told you to chill out because of how much you were taking care of your shoes. They probably like asked you why you care so much for them. Like, trust me y'all, I used to get clowned for wiping up marks or dirt on my shoes. Like people actually didn't have that type of common decency to understand why I was cleaning them up in the first place. Like, I'm just trying to keep them in the best condition. Like, keeping your shoes in the best condition for long periods of time makes you a sneakerhead because you care about how long that shoe will last for you. Don't be them hydro flask girls with the dirty air forces. They don't find a problem with stepping outside with shoes that they, that literally look nothing like how they were purchased. Those motherfuckers should be fined or go to jail for abusing G Fazos. Like, that's just, that's that has to be a crime. And number three, y'all, we got sneaker naming, okay? So many instances in my life, there's just been so many where I've heard someone call one of LeBron's basketball shoes Jordans. Like, they were calling his shoes Jordans. Come on, Slim. Don't be out here calling the Black Cat 4s the Black Panther shoes. The Panda Dunk Lows, the Raccoon Air LeBron 8s. <laughs> People really be out here calling any off-white release the on blacks and be like, my fault, OG. Like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Shoe names are important. They define the ideology and the history behind the designs of those individual pairs. If you out here calling Jordan Chicago's those, those red and white and black Nikes, you need to get arrested. Here, let's run a test real quick. I'm gonna put a picture of a known pair of shoes on the screen in a couple seconds, all right? I'm gonna give everyone in the comments 10 seconds to comment the name of the shoe. We, we, finna, we finna play Jeopardy. I'm giving the real sneakerheads a chance to eject the imposters in the comments. Come on, guys. I'm actually counting on y'all right now. Did you get it? If you didn't know what pair that was by name, it's 80% likely that you're either new to the sneaker game or you're just not a sneakerhead gang. Coming up in number four, y'all, we got the professional sneaker sniffers, all right? If you a real sneakerhead, you must, and I mean must have experience and understand the warm and amazing sensation of smelling a fresh brand new dead stock pair of kicks. My friends be watching me grin hard as shit, kicking my feet in the air because I smell the new pair of shoes I got in the mail. It's almost like having sex with your nose. Hey yo, what the fuck? Your nose is just caught in the sneaker sniff jutsu. <laughs> like once it connects to the footbed, there's nothing you can do about it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not a sneakerhead and someone need to get you right. Like what you doing right now? Last but not least, y'all, we got the sold out notification pain. We all know the true pain that comes from taking yet another L on sneakers app. 
Being a sneakerhead comes with so many good things, but at the same time, there's also the moments of defeat and misery when you realize that Nike and Adidas won't give you every pair they release that you've actually been dying to have. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope this gave y'all an insight to figure out if you really are or aren't a sneakerhead. If you're not a sneakerhead yet, then join the family. What you doing? If y'all enjoyed this content, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps my content get out there. I've received enormous support from you guys and I really appreciate it to infinity and beyond. Stay tuned for more sneaker unboxings, sneaker reviews, sneakers everything we turned up gang. Stay blessed y'all. I love you all. Peace out.